Hi, I'm so excited. We are going on such an exciting little adventure right now. So let me show you what I'm bringing. So this is my very exciting outfit layout. And as you see, we have a very strong color scheme. I've got a little Chevrolet brooch pin from the Felix Chevy dealer in LA and all the turquoise, everything. And I made this purse. This is a logo that I got online cheap and then I just glued it onto this purse. It's really tiny. If you've seen my what's in my bags, you know this is not how I roll, it's so tiny, but it's the only thing I could find that was the right color. And matching bracelets. The shoes are clean and sanitized. Don't freak out that they're on the bed. <laughs> it's okay. And that's my outfit. And then my husband has this bowling style shirt that has these panels checker to kind of match the checker skirt. It's like technically a gingham skirt, but I'm wearing it in the vein of checkers for today. So that is the look. I'm so excited. I'm also bringing these items. I got some driving gloves. I have, I like to keep gum in the car. So I have these candy cigarette bubble gum. I thought they were kind of fun. I have a scarf, a hair scarf in case there's a breeze and I don't think this is really vintage but I thought it was cute the old style with like a tourist map on it and I also made a CD <laughs> okay I, I don't know if I'm like trying to tease this like as a plot spoiler but we are going to pick up this car oh, the car of my dreams I'm so excited a 1957 Chevy Bel Air so I made a playlist for the occasion this is an old Chevy ad that I put on the cover and that's the, the playlist if anybody wants to like pause it because I take my music very seriously <laughs> and my husband was like you know there's a modern sound system in the car why don't you just plug in your Spotify and I'm like I can't wait to be syncing the Bluetooth I need music I need vibes immediately once I'm in that car so I have this ready to pop in I'm so excited so we're in route but this is kind of a Ooh. sorry bummer on the journey. So sad. California is really being hit by wildfires right now in Florida, including this one here in Orange County. It's um, huge. And you can't see it right now, but there's like actual flames on the hillside. So very alarming. It's between us and our car. We need to go all the way to Laguna <laughs> to get our new car. And it's on the other side of that fire kind of. <laughs> But we'll go around. We'll go around. We will prevail. I'm so excited. Are you so excited? Yeah. <laughs> Not, I mean, nobody could compare to you. But Nobody could compare to me. That's so romantic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Do you see it? Oh, my gosh. My baby. This is waiting. It looks so happy. That is the happiest, most cheerfulest beautifulest car ever. This reminds me <laughs> so much of getting <laughs> our dog syndrome. Where are you I don't know. I thought I should park on this side. Come back. Come back. <laughs> Pull this back one to go in reverse. Gotcha. That's all you do. There's my baby. Driving my baby. I really wanted to Uber here so that we could ride together for this moment. Ugh, it's kind of killing me not to be in the car together right now. But... I thought that was a bit crazy to Uber all this way. So he's driving it. He's so lucky. Look how beautiful it is. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna follow him to a nearby location and I'll show you more. I can't believe that's my car. Look how cheerful and friendly it is. Oh my gosh. That's my car. That's my baby. So it's, wait, show him this, show him this. Look at the keychain. That's so the cute. The touches this guy had. Uh, and the Bel Air, you got this, the wheel? Yes. He, I'm gonna have to do like a proper tour when I'm a little oh. less hyper. I'm so hyper right now. You're but not doing a tour right now? I, I want to do it like properly when I'm calmed down. Like, cause just ah, every detail, just ah, looking out the hood at that view, hearing that purr. So is this, does this work? Cause, oh no, it's not real. That's the FM radio. It is? I thought, and then oh, in here like is, let's get some music going. Charlotte, it's so beautiful matching the car. You haven't even shown that you match the car, really. I haven't really, but I do. See my purse? Oh my god. Nice. I, I just have no words. I'm so happy. I feel like I'm home right now. Like, 
The way this smells old, like my grandma's car, I just absolutely love it. And he wants to show how cool his shoes <laughs> look while he's driving, and I have to agree. I never think to wear these. They look very cool. Mine look pretty cute over here, Passenger <laughs> Princess. <laughs> and then Soon we'll swap. above, we have not shoes, but... the ocean. <laughs> Definitely not. Oh that. no, we just lost the ocean. Yeah, that was not the reveal I thought it was going to be. <laughs> We're having our first cruise. This is so amazing to me. And you can't see it right now, but the ocean's right over there. There's the ocean. There she is. Hey, girl, hey. The ocean looks mighty fine with this car. And the little girl does top it off. I'm glad you like it because I love it. Nate had a vision of finding a spot along the beach to stop and get a bite to eat and it just kind of have worked out more perfectly because look at my view from my sandwich. <laughs> like I cannot be farther than 10 feet from this car right now <laughs> or possibly ever again. So this is just heavenly. Nice veggie sandwich. Cheers. <laughs> okay, this is the cruise of a lifetime. I'm gonna remember this forever. Were we late again? Sorry. Late on the sunset? Yeah. Oh. I mean, like buildings oh. <laughs> well, we can go wherever you want. We can pull over Sparkle. with the little hula girl dancing. Are you kidding me? Are you <laughs> kidding me right now? Like this is my real life right now. I'm just so happy I'm vlogging this so I can remember this yeah. night forever. has ever been shot. Like, I didn't expect to be the ones that captured it, but I am. <laughs> Nate found the most perfect glamour shot location to pull over. Like, I, I literally cannot believe this is real life. This view, this car, the palm trees, and it's like right on the water. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> oh. This feels like a canon event. I'm going to put gloves in the glove box. Back when that's what this was for. Isn't that so charming? Uh, there is a modern sound system in here. I mean, if you call this modern, it's a CD player, but it also has Bluetooth. And I'm so happy about that because I have to have my music, so I have to have Spotify like all the time. Good morning. It's the next day. I'm a little bit calmer now, just a little bit. <laughs> so I'm going to go for a drive, my first drive by myself in here. Kind of exciting, kind of intimidating because I have to like, this parking garage is kind of tight. And I was picturing my husband being with me to like guide me, but he is at work right now. So... <laughs> I can't be stopped. I gotta go get some coffee. I gotta just do a Target pickup order. Like, I'm so excited just to cruise around in this. So, wish me some luck and I'll check in on my first official maiden solo voyage. Okay, I just stopped in a random parking lot. I feel like yesterday I was too hyper to give you like a proper tour and explanation of my baby. So, I've always wanted a vintage car, like as long as I've since I knew they existed. I just always wanted one of these. I just like, look at this face. Like that is so cute and friendly. It's like from the Cars movie. Like, look at the little, like the eyelid over the eye. I just, I love these cars. I think they had so much personality and character and charm. Or look at these hood ornaments, jet age gorgeousness. This is a 1957 Chevy Bel Air. That's the gold Chevrolet hardware vintage dealership plate. I 
think these are one of the cutest things. This is a curb finder for when you're parallel parking. And the previous owner, in my opinion, had the accessories just perfect on this car. He only had like three things. He had the vintage gas station 76 ball, which these were designed for a world fair, I believe. So it's kind of like a classic car staple. He has the hula girl on the dash, which is a must. And the only other accessory that the owner had was this Felix Chevrolet sticker, which I just think is like chef's kiss perfect on this little side vent window, which is the only air conditioning the car has. And that's fine with me fins in the back. Um, one thing that's really cool is the gas tank. Let's see if I can even do it. I'm gonna have to figure out how to do this, but this opens up to access the gas tank. I can't even figure it out right now. <laughs> oh, it's this one. There it is. Isn't that cool? So you pump the gas through the fin in the back so you don't have an unsightly gas tank cap on it. Because again, it's all about the hardware with these old cars. They're just so pretty, so pretty. Here we have this gorgeous original wheel. It's been painted, I think, but it's the original. And I just, I dreamed of a wheel like this. Like I pictured wrapping my hands around this thin steering wheel and I would like visualize having this car, which I have, like I said, I've been wanting this car for so long. I've just literally been picturing it. So it feels so good to actually <laughs> touch this um, wheel and like, Driving with it is so fun. I know people always say steering an old car is like a boat, but it is in a good way, like in a really fun way. I love turning this wheel. It puts the biggest smile on my face. And then this is the horn, like this inner this inner ring. So that's really cool. I wanna honk it for you, but there's no way to like just lightly honk it. <laughs> Isn't it so cute? This car isn't like a true collector's dream, untouched vintage. Uh, it's been painted. This interior is not what the interior looked like. In my opinion, it's more beautiful. Like, are you kidding me with these seats and the buttons? It's so cute. So I think that's partially why we were able to get a good deal. It's like not everybody appreciates a vintage car that's been redone through the years, but I think it's really cool because it's in really good shape overall. And I like the aesthetic. I'm not here like, it has to be exactly 100% original. So that's a control panel. That's the AM FM radio. And then I showed you there's like a modern sound system in the glove box. There's a clock that actually works. I just think this whole thing is just so charming. There's the back seat and it's just so cute. I think my favorite thing, one of my favorite things is the like kind of wraparound windows. They're very like bubble shaped. The dashboard and the rear are just very like bubble shaped and I just think that's so cute. <sighs> I just love it. I love everything about it. I can't believe my dreams have come true. But one thing about these cars is there's just not a lot of storage space. Like I showed you like the glove box literally just fits gloves since I have my sound system in there. And ooh, that is it. Like there's no pockets in the doors. There's no center console, which I love this bench seat. I can't wait to go to the drive-in movies with Nate and like sit right next to him right here. It's so cute. Um, but yeah, things were just different. There's no cup holders. I'm really struggling with that. There's no pockets on the door, nothing. And I just think it's kind of an interesting, just kind of shows how our society has evolved because it's just all about comfort now and doing things as easily as possible, making things easy, making things handy. And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that, but I personally enjoy taking a little, like, I, I like being extra. So I don't mind that it's a little bit extra challenging in some ways. But I did order a little console here that has cup holders and a tiny bit of storage space. I don't think it's going to fit much, but that'll be something that we can move it when we want to. But that'll be kind of nice to have once that gets here. It's going to match this color. And then in the meantime, I just have this white bin of, like, my car necessities, you know, things you need. Well, this is the sound system thing that came with it, but you never know when you need scarf and hand sanitizer and whatnot. So I have my supplies in here. It's just like a plain white bin. And that is my storage solution, but it's gonna come along. And the trunk is huge. I'll show you the inside of the trunk later. Um, so we have options and it does have seat belts. It has the original lap belts in this gorgeous color, of course. 
So, not the safest, but this is a very sturdy, solid car and he's gonna keep us very safe, I'm sure. And I just love it so much. Like, I can't wipe the smile off my face when I'm driving around in this. I just feel so happy. I'm just like bouncing like the hula girl, just giddy. So I'm trying to book a um, parking permit for my building and I have to pick the year of the car and it doesn't go back far enough. <laughs> the farthest back that it goes is 1960. <laughs> um, why do I feel kind of cool because of that? They also don't have the model on here, but I think I could just put other and go from there. But these are going to be the joys of a very unusual car and I kind of love it. <laughs> We're parked in Old Town Orange. And have a little ice cream. Oh, uh, I finished. Yeah. <laughs> ice cream has been had. We, and, we uh, no, no, yeah, no, together, together. We, it was charming. <laughs> we shared it, and it's been kind of fun, just like people watching people walk by our car. <laughs> it's so funny because they will like totally look in it, like front seat, back seat, get all up in its business. But then when they don't, we're and, disappointed. Yeah, if they don't, we're like, what the heck. <laughs> <laughs> First time getting gas. Oh, this is a. There we go. Oh, wow. You just. It's just loose. <laughs> Don't lose it. Get a chain. <laughs> okay, how does this work? Right, I got my gas boy <laughs> taken over. Is it just going in? If you're wondering what gas prices are like in California, we are currently excited that we found $3.99. So that's fun. So that angle seems wrong, but not, this gas is going somewhere. Well, we forgot it doesn't have auto shut off and we spilled gas everywhere. So the adventure continues. All right, you guys ready for a dramatic engine reveal? Swing. I mean, I don't know nothing about nothing, but <laughs> that's beautiful. Like. I'd eat Something, off of that. Yeah. Like, <laughs> it's so pretty. It's not the original, but uh, right. it's shiny. Sure is. It's a good looking motor. I think that's a spark plug, maybe. Is it? I don't know. It's more than I know. <laughs> I know that's a battery. It's an air filter, right? I mean, sadly, we're probably going to be learning all this. Right. But... Yeah, I know. <laughs> what is that this radiator like? looks brand new. What's this girl? That's a radiator? Yeah. It's so cute. I just love it. So I'm trying to clean the tires. I don't really know expertise on white wall tires yet, but here is the before. Okay, I can't remember which tire I started with, but that is the after. It's still not perfect, but much, much better. And then Nate's over here polishing the crow. It's the cutest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Look at that. I mean, that is gorgeous. It's like a mirror. And now I'm dusting the car, which I thought people were kidding when they said you need to dust antique cars but this is actually a product called a california car duster that gets the like surface level dirt off because they're not necessarily all that waterproof so you don't want to wash with water when you can avoid it and so i'm just doing my little dusting uh, here's the lady of the of the evening wait no. uh what do you want to say to them the final thought on this whole experience i don't know if they can hear us but i feel so happy driving this car show you the trunk you have to actually turn a key and hoist it up yourself but look at all the trunk space it's pretty huge and there's this extra tire in there I just have this container of like cleaning supplies because since we don't have our own like private garage um, this is easier to have all the supplies in the actual car. Oh, and I meant to show you this earlier because I think I showed it without showing what it was. Does anybody know what this is? I will demonstrate. So this, if you guessed correctly, is a little speaker that when you went to a drive-in movie, they would give you this and it would hang on your door at the open window and play the soundtrack 
and dialogue and everything for the movie and be the speakers. So isn't that so cute? Nowadays they just tell you to tune to a certain radio station, but I love this. And again, the former owner was so nice. He included this with the car. He had it. It's like kind of a popular thing to have as a prop. If you're going to do car shows, some people get like the window tray that goes on the window with some fake food, like a fake milkshake and stuff. I want to get the window tray just because I think it would be functional <laughs> because obviously you don't want to eat in the car. Um, so I need to get an attachment window tray, but isn't this so cute? I don't think we're going to be doing car shows, but it's really fun to have as a prop anyway even though it doesn't actually play or do anything anymore. Still just really cool. I also can't remember if we've discussed my manicure. I found this little press-on set. I think it was like TJ Maxx, but just cheap press-on nails. But look, it's the exact color of the car. So I've been loving that. And then we were also trying to figure out how we're gonna attach our phone here because in our other cars, we have like the adhesive magnetic phone mount. Uh, this thing and so I was looking for one that was like chrome so it would match and kind of fit in I think it If it was truly chrome like this and it looked like that and it was just right here to, to like pop your phone on with the magnetic back That would be one thing, but I couldn't find exactly that I could just find I could just find this one. That's more of a matte silver not terrible, but it just It ruins the vibe a little bit, you know <laughs> But on the other hand, like this is a real car. This is really my car. Like I really drive this car. I really have to have a hands-free way of being in the car. Well, luckily my darling brilliant husband pointed out we have this ashtray we're never gonna use. So I'm trying to see if I can prop the phone mount in there. That's brilliant. And the ashtray like holds it shut and I can't show you cause I'm filming on my phone but the magnet on the back of my phone attaches to this. And that's so perfect. So I can have my phone there in a safe way for having my maps up or whatever. Yay. And then when I park, I can just take it out because it's not as cute as the rest of this car is so, so cute. Also speaking of how cute this interior is, I got my cup holder. I'm so excited. As you see, it's pretty much a perfect match in here. I will link where I found it below because there's a sweet guy, Merv, who hooked me up with he has a lot of really cool classic car stuff. So this has two cup holders and thank goodness it has storage space. So I'll give you a quick tour of what's in here. Like I said, this is the only storage in the whole car. <laughs> There's the glove box that has the CD player, the gloves, the candy cigarettes, the hair scarf. And then there's this that has like everything else I could want. Tissues, more gum. I always like to have a little traveling pharmacy with me. I thought this was color on point and I always just label whatever random meds I put in here so that we have what we need on the road. Have some trash bags, hand sanitizer. My husband hoards napkins if anyone can relate. <laughs> My favorite hand lotion of all time, Holy Grail. I especially love that this one has SPF in it and it's really, really rich and hydrating. Um, what do we have? We have a lip gloss, a pen, and a lipstick. This lipstick is Revlon, of course, in the shade Pink in the Afternoon. That's a vintage shade, really pretty pink. And then some wet wipes, the sound system directions in case I forget how to pair my Bluetooth. That CD I made. Oh, this is so cute. This is where I got the, the piece from. Um, he included this adorable classic looking notepad so that's perfect to have and then I got this and again close to a color match very very close and this has the registration and insurance in it so that's satisfying and all of that fits really nicely in my new little handy dandy organizer I'm so relieved to have some storage space again another addition to the car is this mirror because if you can believe it there's no mirrors on the inside of these visors. I find that again, shocking. Cause like this was the age when we were powdering our noses and putting on lipstick before we went anywhere. <laughs> so kind of surprised that, you know, this tiny little rear view is all we had, but I just was able to strap this on and it's a rechargeable light up mirror. So that's really handy. In fact, maybe that will help me vlog right now. Okay. If this, if my phone holds on, the, <laughs> on that little mirror, this can be super handy, but I'm having, Seven up zero. 
obviously there's to be minimal eating and drinking in this car, but sometimes you need a little refreshment. And that's why I have cup holders now, so we can drink in safety <laughs> and try not to ever eat in here. Although I'm hoping to go to a drive-in movie soon and there will be candy. Okay, I wanted to chat about a couple other things. We're about to go to an event, which I'll tell you about. Actually, I'll tell you now. We're going to a thing. It's at Bob's Big Boy Broiler, which is a historic location in LA. So I have my burger purse, obviously. Actually, it's a veggie burger in my case. I also tried to make reference a burger with my bracelet stack. I don't know if I really nailed that one or not. Um, it's kind of like a fundraising thing because this weird freak accident happened where a car was like out of control and hit the famous Bob's Big Boy statue outside and like blew his head off. So it's kind of like raising awareness and funds, but there's gonna be classic cars there. Not like a car show, but a classic car event. So we're just really excited because we're, it's our first chance to roll up in our new classic car. Um, so that's going to be really fun, but I want to show you a couple other things first. Look at this cute trophy. So adorable. It says Buyer's Choice Award. Thanks for the ride. And it is an actual 1957 Chevy. I found this online and ordered it engraved for the owner that sold us this car because he really, really loved it and was a little sad to part with it, <laughs> which kind of breaks my heart. But he was just so sweet, and I just wanted to thank him. He was really proud that he had won Audience Choice Award with this car at car shows. So I thought that'd be cute, because he's he's our buyer's choice in our hearts. Um, which leads me to, I don't think I've really explained or answered a lot of frequently asked questions that this vlog might bring up, so I'll try to cover those really quick. How do we get this car? We have always wanted a classic car, and I've always had vintage-ish cars, like... My first car was like an 80s VW Cabriolet. So cute, I love that car. And then I had not one, but two cherry red Mustang convertibles. One was from the 90s and one was from the early 2000s. So they were like vintage-ish, but not classic like this. So I was always kind of holding out for this. I've never had like a practical beige, won't break down on you car. <laughs> I've always had like a slightly more extra high maintenance car. And a few years ago, I think like four years ago, my husband and I became a one car household because we were both working from home at that time. Lockdown was happening. We just could totally get away with just one car, even though LA is not a walkable city. Um, that just worked out and that allowed us to like save towards a classic car and also bide our time waiting and looking for the right classic car. So all that to say, Nate found this car listed online. It was relatively near us and he truly gets full credit for that he's so good at finding things like he found my dog to adopt <laughs> he i take him to antique stores and i just tell him what i'm looking for and i like send him out on the hunt he loves the hunt so it's really really cute he was always perusing vintage cars for sale and found this one and it was just like perfect to a t what we were looking for the colors everything even the fact that it's been redone like we wanted this to really be the car that we drive so we weren't looking for like a true classic that's just gonna sit in a hangar and never be driven like this is my car like this is how i'm gonna get groceries in it and stuff like that um so this has a rebuilt engine the rebuilt engine only has like sixteen thousand miles on it which is amazing when you think about it because a new car <laughs> with sixteen thousand miles on it would have cost more than this we got an amazing deal i'm so grateful Again, my hubby's excellent research and also just the, the sweetest guy that sold us this car. I mean, he genuinely said he wanted us to have it. It was just so sweet. Um, so he gave us an amazing deal. We were able to, you know, finance it. And like I said, we've been a one car family for a long time. And before that, I've always driven essentially like beaters, <laughs> like cars I could afford to pay off. I kind of always assumed we would wait until we owned a house to own a classic car because I was just like, I want to have full control over where it's parked. But, um, my darling husband kind of pointed out like we can't wait forever on that especially in california with real estate prices here so uh it, it's secure it has a garage and everything and i'm glad that i didn't keep waiting on my dreams because i was trying to be like more practical one other thing people were asking me online a lot is what's the car named we haven't settled this officially i personally get like boy vibes from the car. <laughs> I think like those, the bright blue color and I don't know, it's just so jaunty. I picture it wearing like a fedora <laughs> if it was in the Cars movie. Um, 
it's so cute i don't know if all cars are supposed to be girls the way boats are all supposed to be girls but for me i was thinking he was a boy so the name that i had have had in mind is felix because like i showed you the owner had like the felix chevrolet sticker on it and it's just so cute it's a vintagey name my husband hasn't totally come on board with that yet but this is officially technically my car <laughs> so i think it's it's named felix um, but I also have a nephew named Felix who lives in Tennessee, so I need to make sure he's okay with having a car named after him. A really, really cool car named after him. Um, but yeah, I think it's really cute that everybody wanted to know what I was going to name it. You know, that's like a thing, always. And I think that was everything I wanted to try to make sure to touch on. I'm sure I'm probably forgetting stuff, so if you have questions, you can always let me know. And there will be a lot of future videos in this wonderful little joy ride of ours. Um, but for now, starting with going to our first classic car event at Bob's. I'm so excited. It's going to be so cool. <laughs> 